pump again. Gonna be doing some blueprinting, getting rid of some stuff. It'll be fun. So we're gonna be doing a poor boy blueprint. So all these little casting marks you see in there, all these little things you see sticking up, we're gonna be taking a sand drill. I don't know what you call it. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. We're going to be taking all those out. Hopefully getting all that corrosion out as well. Just a drill bit. It's got a sand dremel on it. It works really well. Better than I thought. the corrosion off this little boy sound to pull out the big boy though <laughs> gotta wax it though all the aluminum out of the uh, out of the bit so it don't get clogged Fog and oil, you know? Can't afford it, so we just jump straight, jump straight to struggle in there. Well, you know, it's getting broke in again. It's a new, it's a new ski. Yeah, there you go. Just did like 10 years of damage to these fires. All the tree huggers. All the tree huggers. Bunch of caterpillars. We had a whole ecosystem. Look at it. They're all soaked in oil now. They're like, oh no. I can't breathe. I breathe through my skin. Why? Why? All the ants on the ground too. Why? Those are big. Mm-hmm. Where are they been living in the exhaust? There's eggs too. See? Yeah. Huh. That's what happens when you let your ski sit for four years. That's how long it's been sitting? <laughs> Now we're gonna go back over it with the uh, sand drill. Get all the rough spots out, smooth it up. All 
All right, so I got it all cleaned up. I'm gonna do some uh, wet sanding on it to smooth out all these veins, knock all the rough edges off, just, you know, smooth it up a little bit. So I got most of the casting marks out. There's a few little places that I could go further, but I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference now. Um, just got most of the the casting marks that's running this way. These ones here, they're running straight. I kind of rounded them, so they're not as predominant, but they're such a booger to just get that and not gouge up everything else. Next thing I want to do is flatten this spot right here, find center and dimple it and then drill it out so I can have dual cooling. I got most of these all ground out and smoothed up. Just wanted to, there was castings that were running across here. Got them all ground out. I took sand it on them, got them, they're pretty smooth. And then there was another cross one running across this side. I'm gonna, after I tap this, I'm gonna drill it out and thread it. So I have dual cooling on this one. Since this is a stock, the only next thing to do is to work on the nozzle. Which here's the upswept nozzle. As you can see, it's got a little upsweep to it. I've already cut out these little dongles. I call them dongles, but you got your, one was your little fountain, and the other one was your gravity pool for your suction, which I don't run. I run automatic village. And they were, they were both sticking out in here about probably an inch and a half, two inches. So, I mean, it's causing, you know, cavitation, all kinds of stuff you could be messing with. It makes it better just to seal them off flush, have them weld them up, and then grind them smooth on both sides. So, if I wasn't running stock, I'd be running a mag, which this is a six fang mags, you know, you're talking like 12, 14. So, since I'm running this stock and a stock here i usually cut these out but since i'm running stock they line up these veins line up with these veins so i think i'm just going to hold off and cutting them off you see in there these These veins, they line up pretty well. Eventually I might just go ahead and go all out and just take them out for shits and giggles, but for now, I'm just gonna run it like that. I'll probably sandblast this uh, reduction nozzle real good and get it looking all shiny and then I'll probably put some paint on it or a clear coat or something so it doesn't corrode. Definitely putting a clear coat on this one too. After we put the uh, 
drive line in and the wood paint it now but we got to heat it up we got the uh, drive shaft in the ice box cooling off right now so you heat this one up and you freeze your drive shaft and just choop, press it right on in like nothing 